Hey guys, it's Protendo, and surprisingly, animals happen to be a pretty important part of the Animal Crossing series. I don't think anyone would argue that they're the heart of this franchise and are a major reason as to why many of us fell in love with the games to begin with. While there are only a handful of different personalities each one can have, there's hundreds of animals with their own unique designs, catchphrases, and home decorations. This of course means that everyone has a list of their most treasured animals. There isn't a single animal that exists who isn't someone's favorite, even though there probably should be. So I thought I might as well take a look at my top 10 favorite animals and share them with you guys. When I was planning this week's videos, I was actually shocked that this wasn't something I'd done before. Like sure, I've made videos about the best villager from each species, as well as a ranking of every species, but this wasn't something I'd done, which is weird because it's like the first thing every Animal Crossing fan on YouTube thinks to do. But whatever, better late than never, here we go. Number 10, Apollo. Apollo is probably one of the most popular animals on this list, which is a little abnormal for me since in general I tend to lean towards the less sought out villagers. But I don't really care about that because I love this guy. He was one of my first animals I met in my wild world town, and I liked him immediately. As I've said in past videos, I think that eagles are one of the best design species in Animal Crossing, and Apollo is the epitome of that good design. He's simple, but is still really cool looking, and while there are definitely some eagles with objectively better designs, he'll always be my favorite. Number 9, Sky. I think Sky is actually the animal on this list that I have the fewest memories with, since I only had her briefly in New Leaf and maybe saw her while island jumping in New Horizons. But despite that, she's still one of my favorites of all time. I love her design and how it complements her personality, it just feels like a lot of thought went into her overall character. Similarly to eagles, wolves are also an impeccably designed species, but I think Skye definitely takes the cake. Number 8, Mira. I have a lot of fond memories with Mira, mostly attached to my new leaf town, like a lot of animals on this list. She's just great. I remember taking a liking to her after one of my other favorite animals moved away, and she became one of my favorites very quickly. I remember her being on Main Street really often, which gave me the idea that she liked to explore near the outside of town. I mean, Animal Crossing only has like 8 personalities, so you kinda try and give all your favorite animals some kind of distinctive character trait, even if it's minor. Like most of the animals on this list, she's got a really stellar and original design that's actually pretty cool, and probably one of the reasons I wanted to befriend her initially. Number 7, Mo. Mo is my most recent friend on this list because I actually met him in New Horizons. He was one of the first animals that came to my island from one of the plots Tom Nook had me set up, and he's the only one who's still there. He's just so goofy and fun that it was near impossible to kick him out for someone else, even if there are other animals that I'd eventually like to see move in. If there's ever a time where I want a new villager on my island, I'd sooner make Lyman, the last one of my original two, leave instead of Mo. Look at his face. Number 6, Alice. Alice was my first Animal Crossing friend at a time where I hardly knew what Animal Crossing was. As such, her placement on this list mostly chalks up to nostalgia, but to be fair, that could be argued for almost all of the entries on this list. And look, I'll be honest, Alice doesn't have the greatest design. I've even seen some people call her the worst koala, which I heavily disagree with, but you know, opinions. But having a cool or cute design isn't the sole purpose of an Animal Crossing villager. I honestly get bored of the idea of only having the objectively prettiest animals, cause it's like, where's the spice, you know? Alice is great and I'm gonna make sure she's in my town in every game. Number 5, Igly. This is the best penguin. And I can hear the comments, oh what about Rold, or how about my girl Flo, but I'm sorry, Igly has them all beat. He's another one of my new leaf animals and is one I made sure I found again in New Horizons. He looks funny, he's hilarious in the games that let him have good dialogue at least, and he's found a place in my heart. As have like 50 other animals, but he's special. Number 4, Jeremiah. Jeremiah is a peak Animal Crossing character and I'll die on that hill. He has a great design that matches his personality perfectly. This is THE lazy villager. And that design is distinct while not being overly adorable or whatever. He's just... He's not trying that hard, and I respect that. I think that just adds to the wacky community charm that Animal Crossing is so heavily tied to, which is why I think he's such an amazing character. Look at his wiggly smile and tell me it's not the greatest thing you've ever seen. Number 3, Bones. 
Bones kind of feels like a mixed bag in terms of popularity. Like, I'll check out some parts of the community and they'll be like, who's Bones? But then I'll check out another part of the community and they're just absolutely crazy for the guy. And I'm not here to say which group is right, but just kidding, that's literally what I'm here to do. Bones is so great. I love the little spot over his eye, it's such a small touch but adds so much memorability and charm to his design. He was one of the first animals I ever had move in, and I immediately decided I'd do whatever it takes to make him stay. Also, his house used to be really interesting, but New Horizons just made him a weird librarian or something. Number 2, Static. This man is so underappreciated, it's insane. I love everything about Static. In general, I love it when Animal Crossing gives traits to animals that oppose the look of their species. Static is this tiny, adorable little squirrel, but he also looks like he'd tackle you if you looked at him the wrong way, and that's the best part. Also, his ultra deep voice is just hilarious and always cracks me up. The lightning design on his forehead is objectively the coolest thing ever, and I've got a lot of great memories with the guy. I'm still searching for him in New Horizons because when I find him, he's here to stay. And number one, drumroll please, Molly. Molly is the best thing ever. That's all there is to it. It's like the devs took the best possible design, merged it with the most fitting personality possible, crammed in a genius furniture taste and the most charming catchphrase money can buy, and boom, Molly was born. She's just the greatest objectively. I remember immediately befriending her when she moved in back in New Leaf, and when she eventually moved away, on my birthday no less, but that's a story for another time, I was genuinely upset. When I found her in my New Horizons campsite, I literally screamed in pure excitement. She's the best thing, and anyone who doesn't think so is either lying to themselves or is a fan of the animal who shall not be named, either of which means they shouldn't be trusted. But anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Make sure to let me know who your top 10 favorite animals are in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Protendo out.